morning, friends, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Lorraine, and the purpose of this channel is to simply have a little bit of fun with makeup and skincare and just chat a bit about lifestyle tips uh, so that we can approach our older years with a sense of fun and dignity and uh, elegance. And uh, so join me today. And today we're going to talk about three products that I just purchased from the company zero to zero it's hard to explain with that i'm going to show you this the way it's spelled zero to zero and i bought these three products from um, aliexpress but before we get into that i hope that you will join me with a cup of tea or coffee or water or whatever i'm going to have my warm water with lemon juice and apple cider vinegar so cheers And of course, my scent of the day, my SOTD, is Je Reviens by Worth. This is a perfume that was released in the 1930s by the fashion house Worth. And this bottle that I have is a vintage bottle. I believe it's from the 50s, and I purchased it from eBay, which is where I get a lot of my vintage fragrances. Of course, I really enjoy... I really like the vintage fragrances because they remind me of when I was a young woman and just starting out with getting to know different perfumes. And this is one that I had probably in my late teens or so. And uh, oh, I love this fragrance. It's beautiful and I'm wearing it today. And that's my SOTD, Je Reviens. As well as um, joining me today to put on your makeup, I hope, I'm going to share with you a few things that have brought me joy, especially since I retired. So I, I just feel that sometimes there are benefits to being an older adult. So let's get started. I'm, I'm not going to say too much about these um, products until I get to the 020 products. So we'll just get started. Now, one thing that has always really brought me joy is singing and I've been singing probably not even so much as a child although I was in a few choirs which many children are uh, and not even so much as a teenager but as a young adult I would I did s sing at weddings with my then husband and so we did that for a while as well as some children's concerts and um, I always sang in a church choir, so I would do the odd solo at church. But that was really, um, really all. And I always really enjoyed music. I was listening to the radio, listening to all the top hits and everything. So, uh, but when I went up north in my late 50s, which just shows you so, so many exciting things can happen later on in life. It's just amazing. I had an opportunity to join a band. Well, I was just a nervous wreck. By the way, what I've been doing lately with this, uh, with this eyelid primer, I'm using Mario's. And it has two primers and a powder. And I've been using the powder, actually, over the primer. Just a, a little swipe of it. And I just find that it helps the eyeshadow go on better. So anyway, I had an opportunity to be in a band. And we were kind of a rock country band. I did uh, get to sing some of, the lead, some of the leads in the songs. We performed quite often, including about three New Year's Eves in a row. <laughs> so that was really fun. Like that was just a dream that I didn't even know I had, you know. And uh, that was really a lot of fun. And then when I left the North, because I retired, so I moved back to my town where my family is, I, um, I had a few other opportunities to join a few other bands. Like, it just happened that way. And so I did that. And, and by then, I was in my 60s. And uh, so... Finally, I uh, met this gentleman. This was not at all a romantic relationship at all, but he was looking for somebody. He played guitar and he sang, and he was looking for a partner because he wanted to perform at retirement homes. 
and for seniors events. And he was in his 60s as well. He was a little younger than I. But anyway, we somehow met up and we became a duo. And we did that for over two years. And we did quite a few uh, performances at retirement homes, nursing homes, some uh, outside events in the summertime. And, um, and that worked out really well too. So I have, I'm not in a band right now, although during all these years, I started performing with my son. Now my son, who's now 47, has been doing music in this community for, oh, 25 years, really. At least 25 years. So um, he and I had an opportunity to do a few private parties. Um, birthday parties and this type of thing of of uh, the parents of of friends of his and and uh, and this so so we did that and plus whenever he would have a gig he and I if I went there <laughs> he would call me up he would say you know come on up mom and do a few songs so of course I did and so that was great fun too and uh so, I mean, we've, we still, well, we don't do that on a regular basis, especially in the last few years when there's, with COVID and everything limiting all the um, entertainment. Uh, so, uh, so that's the singing. But in the meantime, I guess when I was about, I guess about maybe eight years ago or so, I met this meetup group. And there are many meetup groups that I'm sure there are meetup groups in your community because I really think that they are pretty much all around the world, certainly in North America, absolutely all around North America, the meetup groups and there. You discover them online and you find groups of people who are interested in things that you are interested, whether it be travel or whether it be singing or a book club or there's all kinds of um, interests that can be served by meeting with a group of people. And, um, I mean, they're not, they're not all for older people. There are many for younger people as well. But anyway, so I met up with this group who were, uh, singers and musicians and they, uh, met up, you know, once or twice a week and various places. So I met a few people that way. And over the years, some of these people have become really good friends. And so during the pandemic, a certain a group of us, and this particular group, we kept ourselves separate really from the meetup group because we wanted to just be together, our group, because we were friends. There was about 10 or 12 of us. And some of us were just singers, including myself. I don't play a musical instrument, but uh, there's some really good guitar players and um, a bass player in there, um, a drummer, even if it's just the, the bongo drums. And my son is actually in that group when he, can, uh, when he can make a meeting because during the pandemic, and especially during the summer, well, only during the summer, really, when we could meet outside, we found a venue, a park, where we met once a week. And we could be outside and make music and oh it was just so much fun so I find this time of year well we all do we we really we are really missing each other now we're starting to open up a little bit more here now and we are going to meet next week next Wednesday for the first time I guess probably since November so it will be very nice to to see that group again so that is some way that I'm able to incorporate singing into my life. I just find that singing, and especially with a group, there's something that really releases the endorphins for me. And um, yeah, so that's how singing is part of my life. And I also think that uh, it's not physical exercise per se, but on the other hand, I do think it's very good for the lungs to inhale big breaths of oxygen and I think that that must be good for the uh, respiratory system 
So that's how singing has really brought joy to my life for many years and continues to do so, as well as making a whole group of new friends. And of course, well, we were, we've been friends now for about five years. And uh, so that is a, a real blessing in my life. Okay, so on to another thing that absolutely brings me joy. And this, I, I know, first of all, it seems to be expected that people, when they're getting older, they just hate getting older. They complain about getting older. Oh, it sucks. It's not for the faint of heart. It's miserable. Well, the fact is, I guess I would rather be getting older than any other option, right? <laughs> so, but I do find that there are a few benefits. And one of the benefits, and I said this to myself uh, when I retired, I said, I am not going to rush anymore. A lot of people, when they retire, they, um, they say, oh, I've never been so busy and I'm just doing this and doing that. I never wanted that. I never wanted that for myself at all. I never wanted to be rushed and, and always looking at the clock and it just was not for me. I said, I'm never going to rush again. I'm going to do things that are absolutely at my own convenience and nobody else's. And that's how I live my life. And I just, I really like it. I mean, if somebody's going to come over and, and they let me know, oh, I'm ahead of schedule. I can be there at 10 instead of 11. I'll say, no, that doesn't work for me. That doesn't work for me. Because it reminds me of somebody that I used to work for. No, I didn't work for. I worked with her. And she used to say, just because you're in a hurry for something does not constitute an emergency for me. <laughs> and I just had to really respect that, you know. If I needed her to to be involved with something that I was had a deadline with, well, that didn't constitute an emergency for her, even if it did for me. We're going to get into the 020 or 020 products now, because the first one is a primer. The packaging of these is just beautiful. Now this company is from Pakistan, but I bought it from through AliExpress, which looks to me like a giant um, eBay from China. So um, AliExpress would not have all the range of products. Zero uh, Two Zero does have its own website, but each of these three products, I'm going to have this this primer, a foundation, and a loose powder. Each one was six fifty with free shipping, and that's on the through AliExpress. But you can buy products from the website. Anyway, this, I'm going to read what the claims are for this primer. And for that, I need to go to the box because it doesn't say very much, but you'll see that there's, there's these little gold flecks in here. Hydrating face primer, pore minimizing. Are you ready to create the perfect skin? Apply the gold foil makeup primer to instantly cover blemishes, leaving skin smooth. The makeup primer of this kind can better reduce the appearance of fine lines so that the pores look invisible. The makeup primer is velvety soft and lightweight, specially formulated with gold foil ingredient to provide a radiant glow looking effect for the skin before makeup. A translucent, so they say that, a glow, and then they say a translucent and matte finish skin texture is revealed after use. So it'll, it'll be interesting to see how this goes on, so let's give it a go. And this little top just comes off like that. I'm just going to put a little bit on the pump. It's quite thin, and I'm just going to, it's, uh, no, you see, it, oh, it's actually, it, no, it's, it's kind of jelly-like. It's almost like a soft 
jelly, but it spreads very easily. So I'm not going to put too, too much on. I'm going to spread it around. Now I've already, of course, prepared my skin by cleansing and I put on my treatment with vitamin C and my moisturizer just a little bit because that was followed by um, sunscreen. And I had let that dry on my skin for a good, good half hour today, actually. Uh, this goes on. Oh, it does feel velvety. There's no doubt about it. It feels wonderful on the skin. I'm not sure if I can really see any, any gold flecks or anything like that. I don't really think so, but, but it certainly feels good feels really nice on the skin. And the next product that I bought is a foundation. Now, funnily enough, let me put this away. <clears throat> the foundation is called Shine. And uh, there's uh, one ounce in here, $6.50 Canadian. And doesn't say too much on this now but it does say I had to find the box so it says on this is the foundation the box for the foundation and it says bring your own filter and face the original camera with confidence clear and lasting makeup Reduce the burden of makeup, create vitality and naked skin and become the heroine of youth. You know, I find it endearing with these uh, European companies when they are translating to English, their, their use of English. I do find that rather endearing. So again, this is, I'm not sure if it's a matte finish or if it's a shine finish. So I guess we'll discover that. So this has a little, I'm going to put some on my palette. I'm just going to put that much. And we'll see, it's quite, it's quite liquid. Now they even included a little blender. Look at that. Very nice, it's very nice. So I'm gonna blend that in. It does spread easily, oh yes. And actually the color is quite good. I think there were only, I don't know, maybe only two colors. So that that's blending in. quite nicely. It's hard to tell. It looks like a bit of a satin finish because in any case, however you would describe it, it's a nice finish. I like it. So let's see how it goes on the cheeks. That's always the test, right? Oh my, it does melt right into the skin. It doesn't have any fragrance. So I'm going to do the rest off camera. Well, I really like that. I really like the finish. It just looks like a beautiful satin finish. It feels very light on the skin, feels moisturizing. So I really like it. One thing I noticed when I was buffing with my IT Cosmetics brush, it's starting to lose a few hairs. But you know what? I've had this brush for, honestly, it must be 10 years. So I'm not even complaining. <laughs> but I mean, nothing lasts forever, right? And sure enough, it's losing a few bristles. So I guess I'll just have to find another foundation brush. Although I do have another one anyway. Okay, so now <clears throat> we'll get into the loose powder. So this is the box that the powder comes in. And this is the powder. 
This is plastic, but I just find the packaging is just adorable. Loose powder, an ultra soft loose powder that provides sheer lightweight coverage. That's all it says, basically. It says it in other languages too. So let us open this up and look what we find. Oh, a beautiful little powder puff that has the seal on it, which I'm going to open. And I'm going to just tap a little bit of powder in the lid. We'll just start with that amount. It's probably too much, actually. And I'm going to use this little powder puff. This is a translucent, as it says. So let's see. Oh, it's just, it's very, very nice. I have to admit, it's not as silky as others that I have had, to be honest. But let's see just how it goes on, this, on the face. I just love powder. I'll just take a powder brush and let's see how it how it goes. It seems to be oh it does seem to be going in very smoothly very nicely. I was afraid it was going to be patchy but no no so that works really well too. So those are my three products from zero to zero from Pakistan. So there you go. So many lovely cosmetics from around the world and it's so much fun to discover them. So what were you talking about? Oh, I was talking about not being a bit in a hurry. Well, I this, this is the, um, the brow product that I recently bought from Marcel with this little bent brush, which I'm not used to, but I kind of like it and I really like the color. The color is perfect for me. Anyway, I never really get to sleep before midnight. I'm, a lot of older people go to bed really early. Like even in my apartment building, the whole place kind of shuts down by 10 o'clock really. But I don't know. I just kind of like to stay up late. I watch TV or read or do whatever. Which means that I don't get up super early either because my friends who go to bed early, they get up early. Well, I don't. So I've sort of made it a rule for myself that I don't plan anything before noon. So if I make an appointment or whatever, it's always in the afternoon. That's my preferred time to, uh, to have uh, an engagement. And when I meet with my friends for singing, we usually start around 12.30 or 1 o'clock, which is perfect for me. So I just like to um, get up in the morning and feed the cat and check my email and have my apple cider vinegar drink, maybe um, um, film a video. I just really enjoy that time in the morning. I might call a friend or I, so I'm never in a hurry at all. And I, uh, I mean, if somebody wants to do, it depends, of course, if there's an emergency of any kind, of course, I'll respond to that. But uh, in general, I just find it, it's a real freedom. You know, after a lifetime of bringing up children and working, and I mean, I remember there was a few years when I was doing laundry every single day. And uh, always looking at the clock and, oh my gosh, it's just non-stop, morning till night, and I'm sure that you can relate to that. So this time of life is just 
a wonderful freedom for me. I just love it. I've started to incorporate blush into my routine. Is that too big a brush? I don't know. What do you think? Sometimes I think I should be using a, a smaller one. But I'm using Revolution blush today. And I don't know if I'm putting it on properly or whatever, but I've just started to, to use it just for fun. So another thing that brings joy to my life, and it sounds weird to say that it brings joy to my life, is true crime. I really enjoy true crime stories. And that is how I discovered Bailey Sarian. And I will link her channel down below. She narrates crime stories, true crime stories, while she is uh, putting on her makeup. And she has a wonderful style. She's hilarious. But at the same time, she's respectful. She, she has done her research. She certainly knows what she's talking about. <laughs> and I really enjoy her. And I discovered her. And I would listen to her while I put on my makeup. But, you know, there's some wonderful true crime stories. Dexter is one. I really enjoyed that. But, I mean... You couldn't help love him because he was killing the bad guys anyway. Anyway, I just really enjoy true crime. And I don't read that much true crime, actually. So, uh, but that's another thing. I'm going to put on cream. The thing is, I like cream blush, but I do find that it's a little more work than the powder blushes. And this is, you might think that this is a kind of a strong color for me, but I, I like to be able to, to see it, not, not to the point of being ridiculous, but I do like to be able to see my blush. I'm going to finish this off camera. I'm aware of the time, so I did my hair and finished my makeup, except for uh, this little, bl um, highlighter that I'm going to use. I started incorporating that into my routine as well. And also I want to show you the lipstick that I bought from, gosh, I think it was from Lady Makeup. I'll link it down below for you. It's by Pierre René. And I have it on. It's a beautiful creamy texture. It's just lovely, a lovely satin finish. And it's called, oh gee. Toffee cream. Toffee cream is the color. But look at this magnetic closure. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is that? You know, they really pull us in with the, with the fancy packaging. Anyway, thank you so much for being with me today. This has run way long, but I just um, I really enjoy doing this type of video with you. So until next time, I'll say bye-bye.